and as it dries the product is literally sitting on top of my hair and it flakes hey y'all it's me pretty witty 77 and if you're a witty then welcome back to my channel if you're new here whistle today i am coming to you guys with another video on melanin hair care um, which is a line created by YouTuber Natural85. I already did a twist out with this because uh, my Instagram voted. That was like, okay, we want to see you do that twist out first. Sis, go ahead and get it out of the way. I did it. And if you missed that video, I'll definitely link it above. But being that I'm a wash and go girl, it's only right if I test this out to see what that wash and go do. You know what I'm saying? Like, you just gotta see what the wash and go do. I have so much cream left. You can't even see it any empty from the top, but it's just like a little dug out in the middle. I know you guys probably can't see it, but the twist out lasted so long. And I feel like it was just amazing. <laughs> the moisture levels, the definition was crazy too. The only thing that, um, made me wash my hair was i had to i had to deep conditioning because i i do deep condition every week yeah. so it lasted a whole seven days in my hair and it was amazing so i parted my hair exactly how i want my wash and go to fall and i'm going to re-wet my hair because starting to frizz pretty badly <laughs> Also, I already applied my leave-in in the shower because it says on the back of the product to use your favorite leave-in. Um, the leave-in that I used was the Camille Rose Curl Love Moisture Milk. I used the same thing when I did the twist out. So I was like, listen, I just grabbed what I know works. I didn't have any flakes or it, it blended like good. So I was like, okay, this is going to be the product that I'm going to grab when I use this twisting cream. Now, I know a lot of people <laughs> have thoughts about that because it's supposed to be so moisturizing. And it was like, if the first ingredients are what they say they are, why would you need a leave-in? Because I did see a lot of people like questioning that. It was like, is the product drying or something? Like, why would you say you need a leave-in? But I don't know. It is extremely moisturizing. I can't tell you that because I've used it before. But... I'm just gonna do what it say be like I don't want no smoke. Okay, so here goes nothing. I have some cream right here. And I'm just gonna go ahead and smooth it on. I already know it's, it's super moisturizing. Well, at least my twist out was. And because this is a no gel wash and go, I'm just gonna go ahead and give my hair a little twirl just so it can be kind of uniformed as it dries. The gel helps control the um, formation of my curl so that it's not like out of whack or anything or frizzed out. But I find that not completely finger coiling my hair, but just giving it a little twirl helps to clump my curls together. So I don't have, you know, that problem of like my hair frizzing up all crazy. Like no problem so far. Of course, I did not use a gel, so I can't expect this to be like kosher and super defined. But I just want to see what that moisture do. excitement just turned to nervousness because still white <laughs>
and um, it's starting to disappear, starting to in some areas, the whiteness, but uh, yeah, these are my final results, and I just want to mention that I'm a little bit above halfway through this product, 16 ounces. I would have most definitely been like gone with a regular, why did I hit it? <laughs> I would most definitely be like done with a regular like 12 ounce product 60 ounces really thick rich you really don't have to use too much but of course it is buildable and i really really like to wild out with product with my wash and goes that's just me but i'll get back with you guys when this wash and go dries keep your fingers crossed so it is three days later. Yes, guys, this is three days of my wash and go. I was really tied up, so I couldn't record earlier, but I'm happy that I did because a lot of people, or a lot of times me and myself, I just show like, okay, this is the next day, but this is day three. And I haven't fluffed anything but this one little section here because this is my low density area. So it tends to be a little bit flatter. So I kind of have to fluff a little for it to kind of even out to my desired look. Also, I added this really cute headband because I did not like the way <laughs> that I parted my hair. I don't know. Maybe I'm kind of growing to be more of a middle part girl but this headband makes this part look really really cute but before this headband y'all y'all have been like uh maybe it's because it was a clearly a no gel wash and go and it was the texture in here it was kind of looking like no gel now as you guys can see i was super worried about my hair drying flaky just products sitting on top of my hair but I did not have those results. I only had it in one little spot and it was like up here somewhere, like literally like two or three curls. And it, I feel like it's because of the amount of water that I did not apply to that section. I feel like when people get flakes, for some people, well, let me, let me just say me. When I get flakes, it's usually because I didn't apply enough water. So that product is literally sitting on top of my hair. And as it dries, the product is literally sitting on top of my hair and it flakes. For me, if it's not like the product combo that's flaking, that is another thing that could cause the flake. So yes, since it is still defined on day three, um, I super duper want to stretch my hair <laughs> cause I'm like, okay, and I ain't really touching my shoulders that much. And I like it. You know, I like an elongated look or whatever. But it is cute nonetheless. So the only product that I've applied to my hair after styling was um, I sprayed argan oil on my hair to kind of create a little shine. I don't know if you can see it or whatever. But, I mean, you know, it's there. Um, I think, yeah, shea butter is the second ingredient. Which means that this product is really, really rich. With that being said, why would I have to refresh my curls afterwards if I'm using such a rich product? I really think that this product would be okay as a one product wash and go. The only thing is, I like my hair to have slip prior to putting the product on my hair. So, of course, that is one of the major reasons that I opted into using a leave-in. Shea butter is thick. I need a leave-in that has slip. Like, but this is extra moisturizing. So... That's where I'm coming from with, oh, why did you have to use the leave-in? Because it's supposed to be regional. It's a preference. I am going to mention that I was super worried that my hair was going to have like a really waxy feel because my hair wasn't completely dry day one for me to record. Maybe like 20 to 30% wet. So I was like, okay. But it was basically like inside. Everything else was pretty much had run its course with, you know, dryness not dryness <laughs> with drying but i can't say that i was like oh my god day one my hair had kind of like that super moisturizing like stiff feel and i was really worried i'm like bruh it looked good but it just doesn't feel good i got to get on here and tell these folks like I don't like it, but I can say that super moisturizing feeling that I had day one 
it's the reason why my hair is still moisturized day three it does wear off for me like when i touch my hair now and i do this it's not that real stiff i think it was because it was almost dry but it wasn't so i can still kind of like feel it but do i like this product for my wash and go yes did i like the twist that i did with this product yes which one do i like the best Oddly enough, I'm going to say the twist out. And the only reason I'm saying that is I'm a wash and go girl. And one reason why I like my wash and goes is I like my gel. But I feel like if I would have did a gel with this product under, I would have basically made it the moisturizer and not kind of like the star of the show. Because the gel would be the reason that the style is looking like that. Like, let's be real. The gel is going to clump your curls and make the style what it is. The product alone or even the product with a leave-in would be more telling of what the product has to offer for your wash and go. That's just my opinion. With all that being said, I ain't even gonna hold you sis. Like I feel it. You still see the definition in there. It's there. But I want to know how you guys feel about this wash and go. Definitely leave a comment below. Like let's start a discussion sis. And by all means if you missed the twist out video sis like what is you doing what is you doing click the link over here and if you made it to the end sis like why aren't you subscribed you might as well go ahead and do that let's link see you guys in the next video